the son of celebrated master tailor Paul Minichello. Ito brings a refined blend of more than five decades of personal and inherited fashion experience. He was previously the founder and lead designer of a line of luxury undergarments renowned for their edgy and unconventional styles. Dino followed in his father's footsteps, learning the trade by working in the family shop. At a young age, he quickly showed his talent for fashion, completing his first custom design while he was still in high school. He is one of Canada's hottest up-and-coming fashion designers and style experts. Newspapers and magazines describing him as a pioneer in Vancouver's evolving fashion industry. With his work favored by celebrities, athletes, and entertainers, Dino opened his own eponymous store. Dino's Cativo Regazzo is the culmination of numerous designs, his consummate skills, and his many years of experience in the world of fashion. Ladies and gentlemen, Dino Minichello. So Dino, uh, how would you describe your product and who's it for? My product's for the man who doesn't need a suit but really wants a suit. Okay. It's edgy, it's seductive, it's mysterious, mischievous, it's urban, it's luxurious, quality of craftsmanship, it's seductive. Our suits are for guys that want to express their personality and their status. What would you say sets set you apart from the competition? My beliefs. Yeah. I break the rules with style. Right. Um, I like to uh, set myself apart from the competition because my suits and my experience when you get a suit is like nothing anybody else does. I'm not stuffy. I'm not, you know, oh, this fabric. Everyone has these fabrics but with what you do with those fabrics from an artistic perspective. Mm -hmm. And we really celebrate art and artisan. And your persona, your personality lives within the, within the garment. What would you say is your inspiration for your, your style? My inspiration comes in two factors. Mm -hmm. uh, impulsive, quick, and long-term, and, uh, and intuitive. So my short-term, impulsive style of inspiration comes from all facets of something I see immediately and figure, oh, I could change that in a different way and have something unique. The other one is just me living my life and my unconsciousness absorbing everything around me and formulating some inspiration inside and then it pops out in a wave of inspiration and that to me is my gold. That's when the gold comes down mm -hmm. and, I, and I can just totally, you know, um, I, I jump on the bandwagon there and I, I take notes and, and, and go w ride that wave as long as I can. Mm -hmm. My notes actually look like I'm a psychopath when you look at them afterwards. <laughs> but I understand them. <laughs> exactly. Well, how about the customer? He must, this is what I want or would like to see. Then how much is it? Is it 20%, 50%, or like what kind of percentage would you take? Percentage for what? Inspiration from what the customer wants. I get. Kind of run with I do get inspired by the customer most definitely. Mm -hmm. One of the things my dad did, and I grew up in his environment, uh, is was his customers became friends. Mm -hmm. Same things happening with me. Um, it really gives me an insight into who my customer is. Obviously, mm -hmm. when we hang out socially, um, and they we they actually put uh, faith into me to make their garments without sitting down and going over anything. They're just like, I need another suit. Go for it. Mm -hmm. And my inspiration comes from just being around them and knowing who they are and who their family is and being outside of in, inside of here, you know, just socializing in, 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 the, in the world with them. Well, speaking of your father, well, besides your father, who has been your inspiration or uh, who has guided you and helped you along the way in your career? Well, yeah, my father did play a huge role in my life, um, obviously growing up in a tailor shop and what have you. But... Uh, Somebody who's a lot younger than me is a big inspiration for me. It's my daughter, you know, Capri. She's a very, uh, an old soul, provides me with a lot of intuition <laughs> where I don't know where she gets it from. Um, but I also had some good friends of mine that um, worked close with me. Uh, he's a mentor. He's my CFO. Um, been very good to me throughout the years. And then I've surrounded myself with some amazing mentors from the likes of Electronic Arts Sports, Senior Executive um, engineers all the way to Forbes pick under 30 uh, 17 year old you know kid basically who's a gen Z expert so I, I have a really big plethora of diverse yeah and diverse yeah, yeah uh, that comes into me mm -hmm. in terms of support and mentorship do you have any advice for somebody that wants to break into this field I think my biggest advice for somebody who wants to start anything mm -hmm. um, is understand why you do it what gets you out of bed, what turns your crank, you know, 
what do you believe in, things like that. If you, if you can figure out why you're doing it, how you do it, your USP becomes obvious, and then what you do is just secondhand. You know, people are interested in why you do things over about what you do, mm -hmm. is what I believe. What's your favorite memory of your, of your father? I have so many. My dad was such a colorful person, took me around the world and did all kinds of crazy things. He was a true cattivo ragazzo. <laughs> But my most fondest, I mean, is the day I, we were on his deathbed. Yeah. The day I made the commitment to him mm -hmm. that I continue his legacy and hand that to my daughter. But that was the most powerful moment in my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, you saw earlier today, I have his ashes with me today and his suits in here with me. But yeah, that's the best moment. So how can people find you um, and any upcoming projects? They can find me here in Gastown, 36 Water, anytime. They can find us online. Uh, www.cativoregazzo.com mm -hmm. uh, Big website launching next year. You have some new technology coming out next year. I do. Um, I am working with some very uh, sophisticated people in technology. Um, PhD in artificial intelligence, fashion, uh, psychologist, uh, another PhD in social media behavior. Um, I got some executives, as I mentioned, from Electronic Arts Sports and so on. Together we're designing a software basically is a glorified personality test. It's called the Dino Expert System, mm -hmm. and it's basically going to mimic the experience you just had today, you know, as best as possible on a digital platform. Basically, data in through a series of questions, not very many, mm -hmm. and, and a series of images per question, mm -hmm. and you can like them all or you can dislike them all, doesn't matter. Through that process, the data that we, that we gather will formulate your suit design. And then there's obviously your own emo emotional um, portion where you can pick your lining, mm -hmm. uh, you know, your buttons or what have, like, have you, but we designed that suit for you through that process. I know she doesn't want to be on camera, but can you please tell us who this lovely lady is over here? Tanya is my uh, rock. Without Tanya, I'd be floating all over the world and not knowing where I'm going. She keeps uh, everything, you know, in order, mm -hmm. keeps great track of our customers, uh, awesome at man managing all the relationships we have from customer suppliers to everybody um, and she's a great friend and helps her, and she makes the best pies. This I did years and years ago. I keep it here because I may do it again but this was um, I was going to a fashion show and it was a CFL big huge thing back in the 90s I can't remember late 90s so I thought well you know what I'm gonna make a track suit this is a tailored suit made at our factory and it's got like the lining and it, this is this is all tailored like suiting fabric. Like an yeah, I made it and this is like corduroy to simulate the knit, you know, okay. you, you know what I mean? Wow. So I made a track suit and I, I wore this there and all the BC lines are like, I want one, I want one. So I might bring it back. Do it. Yeah, it's because you know today breaking the rules of style. Why not? Exactly. Our stuff's uh, made in Italy. Okay. Yeah, we we send our so I'll do the design here. Fabrics goes to our workshop in Italy. We call it a laboratory. Uh, we'll send the the linings. So Annie does the linings here. She's one of our, our artists. This is a um, a lining that's got jellyfish on it. This is for uh, he was the VP of all the BMOs, uh, Bank of Montreal's, and now he's a. Um, He's a, uh, uh, board of, on the board for the Vancouver Aquarium. So we're doing a jellyfish lining in his suit. So this is going to Italy pretty soon uh, for him. And yeah, everything's done in Italy. Except the silk linings are done here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I noticed you have a little you have a little workshop over here. Yeah, is that this for like is, alterations or uh, well we can we will do alterations here for when we, you know if the sleeves need adjusting and things like that. But that's where I create uh, new patterns and unique designs and we, we it's our like our testing lab, you know, for some crazy original stuff. My dad made his name on putting out unique and original stuff, stuff that hasn't been done. Mm -hmm. And I wanna carry that through and I've got a, a big notepad based on my inspiration notes I told you about earlier. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're just working with uh, one of our tailors and just you know making some a bunch of patterns, but that's where we do it. Right. And then once it's made and, and formalized and we're gonna put it into production, mm -hmm. that code, we have a code, goes to our um, laboratory in Italy. Hey, I'm Dino Minichello, the original bad boy. What's your story, Vancouver?